Hello, my name's Andy and welcome to the garage. Right, I thought I'd change format this week. Um, we'll look at lots on eBay first, then you can see a description, see if there's anything you like, and then watch the rest of the video if there is something you like. I'm doing this from my phone this week to try and make it a bit easier. So there's a Corgi Toys fire engine and an unknown toy car which could be Crescent. Looks 1940s style, Crescent style. There's a Dublo Dinky Toys Meccano Land Rover. There's a Crescent Toys job lot. There's a police, potentially the police car Jaguar Saloon, a fire engine and the gun may be Crescent Toys. Then there's a D9 car. A Scammel tractor and a Leyland tipper. Then there's a um, SO tanker, just a trailer, a majorette tr tractor unit and trailer, a Colgi Tronics tractor unit and trailer, and a Dodge tractor unit with an articulated horse box. Then there's a Max Matchbox um, Dinky. Bedford and Foden, and a Dodge tractor unit. There's still the wooden vehicles from last week. I did get an offer, but refused it. There's still the military vehicles, mainly Leslie from last week. There's a Corgi Riley Pathfinder for restoration, and the vintage Britain's Corgi and Land Rover. There are two scheduled items, an Engage railway item and a spot on try and armstrong sidley sapphire die cast firstly got this little guy now you, you can't see but i've looked in closely there are no markings under him i think he's 1940s <coughs> he's originally red he's quite tidy i don't know if you know but I've seen it on a few crescent toys I don't know if you can move that a bit closer. The um, sorry about the coughing. <coughs> the um, not entirely smooth around the edges. He might be a Woolsey looking at him from the front. He's all there. He's not damaged. Then there is this um, Jaguar fixed head coupe. Now this one has got a hole in him in the roof and I'm wondering if he was the police car one <coughs> again maybe I've had a resto before he's been painted I think and it looks like he was originally red he's crescent toys and he's got I don't know if you can see it there he's got a number 10 just there so he's crescent toys number 10 those two will probably go together along with this um, gun part of it because so I think this might be might be I say the Crescent Toys gun because there was all my Crescent stuff was bought in one lot now this um, is going in with them just because somebody might be interested and it it's not going to post by itself on eBay <clears throat> now the second lot the two fire engines now, Paul the Restorer did one of these recently. He's missing a ladder. There's a little bell goes on the ladder. Obviously, he's missing his tyres. His dinky toys. He's a bit rusty on the base. I'm sure people can fix that, restorers. He looks pretty straight. No bent pillars, etc. So he's there. Uh, and he's probably going in with this lot. DCMT. Crescent Toys. Made in England. Now this guy is obviously. He's lost his, um, he's lost his ladder. There's a little winder there. That's still there. It just pushes into there. I'm not going to try and do that. We could be here three or four minutes. He's got his wheels. I don't know much more about this, except he's probably another 1940s 
model. So I'm just put him there. Now I've already got an Armstrong Siddeley Sapphire for sale, and here's another one, but it's spot on models by Triang. 142nd scale. He's missing a hub and some wheels. His glass looks just dirty. I can't see any cracks in it. It's a bit cleaner this side. If I maybe if I'd given it a rub, I don't know. But there he is. He looks intact, apart from the wheels and the axle missing. He'll probably be in a lot by himself. Now here's a um, made in England Lesney Matchbox King Size Scammel Contractor. I think he was in my January lots. I'm not to do him. His tipper holds up. He's still got his siren. Tipper goes down. It does look right from the front, which I didn't think in January. I've had a closer look since then. He looks to be all intact. Glass looks good. He's lost a tyre. That's not a major problem. If I can find the tyre, I'll put it on. I've got some spare tyres from that box. So he's there. And he's probably going in a lot with this. There we are. Good, um, good hydraulics. I think this is a Leyland Tipper Matchbox Series King Size K4 1969. He's lost a tyre. His other tyres actually look okay, apart from the one he's lost. He's lost the back. Must be a little flippy thing there. The tailgate. The glass. Looks quite good. I don't know if you can see that. Cab looks good. Little chip there. Part of the front bumpers said goodbye. Apart from that, it's not too bad. I'm sure that's all retrievable. Now, those two from there and I think this might be a weight problem depending on the lot. Probably go in with this one, which is a Matchbox Super Kings K16 Dodge Tractor, 1971 Lesney. Again, good hydraulics. All these wheels are on that side. All these wheels are on that side. They all look fairly stable. Again, tailgate's missing. Cab wise, that's a bit loose. Exhaust looks okay, horns are okay. Glass looks good. Can't see anything. So on this one, it's just a bit of wear. That looks a bit wonky can see that that probably needs straightening and the tailgate's missing then we have this um, Ascot Stables Matchbox Super Kings K16 Dodge Tractor with Matchbox Super Kings K19 Articulated Horse Van nearly knocked the camera over there this is badly cracked and you can even push it in. That's not retrievable. I don't know if that'll probably be part of it. Now, the back's still there. Oops. And nice. there we are. The roof lining for that looks okay. He's got scratch in him. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe with my finger behind it, it's a bit more obvious. I don't know. It's not a crack, it's a bad scratch. Inside, looks okay. Tailgate's there, stays up. 
wheels are all alert. So the only thing so far is the roof skylight's loose. That needs replacing or some form of major repair. Um, the tractor unit looks fine. Bumper's fine. Headlights there. Horns are there. Looks okay. Depending on weight, those that and the last three trucks may go as one. <clears throat> now, um, sort of bulldozery thing, caterpillar, D9 caterpillar, made in England by Lesney. I think there was once a bloke there. Obviously, the um, tracks have said goodbye. That front axle's bent. Try and give you it from another side there. Not much to say on that. Now he probably will go in with this, which is a Dinky Toys Bedford. He's got a tow hook, there's no trailer with him. He's lost all his tires. This axle's bent here. This is a bit rusty. Cab looks straight. There's a headlight gone. There's a tire there, spare tires there. Definitely one for restoration. Bent bumper there, mud guard, whatever you want to call it, fender for any Americans watching. Do have some Americans. I'm sorry you guys, I'm not shipping to the US, it's UK only, and only the UK mainland. So he's one for restoration. He's probably going with the tractor, along with this big boy, who weighs quite a bit. He is a dinky Super Toys Foden. Can't see anything else written there. Bit rusty there, bent axle. Another bent axle, another, let's just say all the axles are bent. No spare tire, tow hook present. Trailer, a bit, bit of a curve in it here and there. This side's better. Cab wise, there's a view from the front. That post has got a kink in it. That front cab post there, if you can see that. got his headlights, he's got his number plate. So what he really lacks is three, maybe four new axles, two, four, six, eight tires, a bit of bend in there and a fair mix of paint. That's screwed on, just noticed that. So that will come off. I think he'd be a nice one to do. Probably going by itself is this little um, Hornby Dublo Land Rover. Just have to lift that up so I can read it better myself. Yeah. He goes with those little trains. All his wheels are there. He's, um, he's not bad actually. A bit rusty underneath. Just surface rust. Nice one. Now, these next three will probably go together. This is a Corgi Tronics BL Land Train. Um, all these wheels are there, you can see that. Looking on the internet, Google Images, they obviously had a top that came down onto here. I don't know if um, this forward motion, if put batteries in, works or not. Um, it's like he's, there's two exhaust stacks there. That one's lost his top. If you can see that. Top's missing there. Top's on there, I guess. Needs a bit of work. Paint wouldn't have been bad, actually, apart from the missing bits. Axles look okay. There's some sort of stubby bit ticking out there. 
maybe that drops down onto the wheels to drive the wheels maybe that yeah there's one the other side as well look that's how it works tir long vehicle into one side right just a trailer not just a trader just a trader corgi juniors made in great britain gloucester saro tanker so tanker i have not got the cab So he's probably going with that BL Land train, spares or repairs. He actually looks all there. The wheels look good. The axles look good. Obviously, the stickers shot. You know, need to clean and some new stickers. Might need a bit of paint on top. But he's not bad. Then we have a Majorette ECH 160th, whatever that means. Made in France. He. He would just need to clean the um, top of the stacks missing there. As you can see, trailer support bends down. Both wing mirrors are there. I don't know much about majorettes at all. Um, that wheel's on the wobble there. That's the only axle that looks a bit bent. So he's there. He's probably going with the SO tanker and the BL land train. And 